Hey gang, welcome to the Kerry Trainer Gym. Today I've got a man, Mr. Rollis Grassi. Uh, Mr. Rollis came in today because he gets beat up a lot. Poor self-esteem, inability to defend himself. So I'm gonna teach him the way of the bow staff here today, and we're gonna help him. He's just like, shut the f man, and let me do what I'm here. This is Mr. Hollis Gracie of the Gracie Jiu Jitsu family. Came all the way out from his academy in New Jersey. Yes. Hollis Gracie Academy. Correct. Thank you for being here. We just did pleasure. a podcast. Look at it. See, he's trying to already gain control of my arm. Did you guys see that? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You gotta be ready. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of training on the mat here today with him while he's in town. He's got a few things uh, that he thinks that are worthwhile for you to think about. Remember anything we show you here here or on the range is not training for you. It is something to induce thought and then you have to go train it. There's no, no substitution for the actual work. But watching this might get you up off the couch or get you into the dim gym to think about it and try it. What do you got? Um, I think a very common uh, scenario, right, on a, on a street fight, if you get on a fight, different than a professional fight where guys are ready to fight, uh, you know, a championship fight, five, five minute rounds, you know, on a street fight, People want to end it quick, right? If they want to end, could end it one punch, they would do so, right? And uh, probably the most powerful punch that can generate the most power would be like a wide, you know, haymaker. And uh, that's a very common punch. On a, I see people swing wide, you know, you can go like pull up videos on YouTube. Just like straight up barb, you know, like bar brawl. Just and they're like, boom, okay, I'm okay. going to be, I'm going to finish this fight with mm -hmm. one punch so I don't have to, can get. People die from you. that. Yeah, I know two people dead from getting hit one time like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I can't say it was that same punch, but just getting struck yeah, in the could, head. Especially like on a, on, a, on a on a bar fight, let's call it a bar mm -hmm. fight. You get knocked out. You hit your head against a counter, against a a, a, a chair, a table, mm -hmm. something. You know, a hard surface. You could die. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no mm -hmm. joke. I'm not a sensationalist type. Right, they try to try to scare people. No, but it's reality. It could, mm -hmm. could happen. Right. I think what he just said to you was he's not trying to sensationalize it. Sensationalize. It took me Your English is 11,000 times better than my Portuguese. <laughs> so, I would let, you know, we could go to a scenario mm -hmm. where the guy throws a, a punch like that, right? Okay, so one thing uh, that we'll add right away is, hey, if you can get away, get away. If you can break contact, that's our number one goal as a citizen is just break contact. Hey, man, have a good day. Go Self. That probably yeah. isn't the best thing to say, yeah. but break contact. But when you can't, or it's, br can't. it's brought to you. Exactly. So I'm the aggressor. Hey man, what the f problem? That yeah. was my girl over there. You were uh, da, 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 <laughs> bumping and grinding on her. I can see you like a good dancer. You think you're a good dancer? Bless me, man. I have my salsa skills, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, no, you're, so, you're saying right. You know what I mean? We don't want to escalate the situation, right? Mm -hmm. If you can defuse, deescalate, Mm -hmm. best thing right mm -hmm. so you come aggressively towards me i'm not gonna be like you know because no why not because now it's a fight for sure okay right i throw my hands up me I, I put my hands up that means like i'm ready to punch you. sure so just but, okay you know like so you're probably gonna do the same right and you're probably gonna try to swing before i do you know mm -hmm. if i was you know if you want to fight both guys hands up you know sure better okay so i'm being aggressive so i'm like man what's going on you know i like my hands here okay because why? I'm not unprepared, okay. right? If, you do, if my hands are down, you swing. I'm gonna eat it, right? Here, I'm really like, okay, we, fight is on. But now here, I'm kind of like, you mm -hmm. know, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. If you decide to tackle me, if you decide to throw a punch, my hands are in a good position. You, you can at least get them into the mix. Like that, right? Mm -hmm. One thing to take, take under consideration, uh, a punch usually goes from point A to point B. It doesn't like make a, doesn't curve on the way, mm -hmm. right? You can throw like a Y. <laughs> you know, so at the moment that I decide to throw, it's gonna go from point A to point B. Sure. Okay. So you can, and being a, a jiu-jitsu from a jiu-jitsu background, I feel that it's better for me when you throw a punch to close the gap than step away. Okay. But why not? Because if I'm on a, if you're in a ring or something, you know what's going on. You know, you know aware of your surroundings. But if you're in a crowded spot, you know, people, things, objects, I could step back, but probably gonna keep going towards me. Mm -hmm. 
So right. now you're just backing up. Now I'm backing up. Now I, probably, I can probably hit something. Sure. Right back against the wall, sure. the bar, or I could trip and fall. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am already ready. You, you there? You want to have an aggressive manner? You saw My it. hands are here. The moment that you decide to throw, boom. You close. I close. And even if I try to hit you from here, yeah. it's going to be fairly weak. Exactly. Okay. So you, so you closed on me. I was boom. Super important here, I use this as a shield. I'm not trying to catch your, your hand because this might slip. Boom, and I'm still gonna mm -hmm. eat it. I also use this as a, a block, and now I, I trap your hand here, right? Few different things that we can do from here, but I like to get your body lock here, here, if we can swim under. But so this is different. This is a shit sandwich for for the yeah. guy that's in that position once you get that line. Exactly. And then, you can drop me a hundred ways. Is that, you know, it's all gonna depend what you're... Hey man, I was just kidding, dude. <laughs> what are you trying to do, you know? I got a few, if you wanna back away from me, if you're still gonna be trying to punch me mm -hmm. with your free hand, all right? So this comes off off often. People are like, whoa, you know, you're showing this big punch. Nobody punches like that. Do they punch like that? They do punch like that. Yeah, so like, I think, <laughs> When people people will say, well, you know, a lot of guys punch straight. Well, they they do, but you're saying based on experience and what you just see people that are untrained, they're throwing these big wild yeah. If you go punches. if you go to a take a, your first boxing class or a kickboxing class, you're probably gonna learn jab cross. Mm -hmm. Those are gonna be the first two punches that you're gonna learn, mm -hmm. right? Um, but those are, you know, it's the first two punches they learn, but those are very technical punches to do through okay. like a proper jab, a proper cross, those are technical. But swing, anybody could do this. Mm -hmm. You watch, if you just like Google street fights yeah. or like backyard brawling, that's what you see. Exactly. <laughs> Hell, Tank Abbott back in the day, that exactly. was just walking, walking into that. What is, and even on a, a amateur MMA or, or amateur boxing, like, you know, like people with no experience, you're gonna see people like yeah fighting yeah. like this right so you wanna actually one of my students that he was gonna go for his first amateur mma i said man people are gonna most likely gonna be swinging like this go down the middle Just so that's a common okay very common punch more okay. common that you know because you can generate you can wind this more yeah. people wind this and it's very telegraphed so it's from your pilot side of the equation, you see what's happening. And really if well. I want to pick, man, hardest pick a punch for you for for me to throw at you, I'll pick that. This is the hardest one, but I want, I prefer to clinch off that then, than a, than a jab. Yeah. Okay. Because the jab is gonna go in and out faster. So we're not telling you not to prepare for a jab. He's just isolating something that you can learn here and practice. So how do people practice this? Just like that, you know, we can get like a. I would say, like, if you have zero experience with this, slow down. Mm -hmm. You told me to slow it down today, right? Mm -hmm. Let's slow things down. Let's just get like, nice, and let's get mm -hmm. used to the to the side picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna go away, and you're just gonna block. Get in there. I want to slam this motherfucker so bad. You can try. Can you give me my bow staff? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay, so there teaching points. I'm the aggressor, you're the defender. Punch comes in, boom. Right in here. This, to me, this is the most important part. You know, it's kind of used to this. Like, meeting the punch. Okay, don't hesitate, don't try to be like, if you hesitate, most likely things are gonna go well. So you are like, kind of like a cobra, like. Yeah, you know, the, the praying mantis style. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, so. Let me try it on you once just so I can think about what you're so saying. So I throw? Yeah. So I go. Oh. Right? Yes. Are you are you connecting with the arm there? Hooking onto it? Um, there might be a thing where you try to connect because if you try to pull away, you know. But my main concern is just to block the thing from hitting my face. Mm -hmm. Right? On my hand. Mm -hmm. So when I block, I'm not necessarily trying to meet perfectly here. I'm just using this as, an, as like a, a shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. all right? Somebody throws like, you know, we'll just swore at me, I have a shoot, boom, I don't care what's gonna hit on the shoot, right? So when you throw, boom, 
Even if I don't catch, look, see, I put like a little higher on purpose. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about getting to this, of course, if I can bring it down here, good. Mm -hmm. But if you pull this hand out, I'm going to be ready to be in here, which is fine as well. Mm -hmm. Which is even better as a matter of fact. Yeah, here I have more control. Mm -hmm. Here I have more control of mm -hmm. your back. So, number one priority, close the gap, right, in here. You know, I meet, I get close hips, closer to the hip. And now I like to take a step to the side. Right, because now, you see, like you said, this part not going to hurt me here. But it could be annoying, so I get here, so I reduce that. And I put my head right on, a, on the side of your head, and I'm in charge now. Very hard for you to hit me. Oh, oh no! I heard, I heard you, you wanted to slam me, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, like one thing I'm thinking about as you're doing this, your fourth degree black belt, so you're thinking about it 11 steps down the line, but as the person's practicing this and they come to here, we want to make sure that they're also thinking about coming in and swimming yes. and getting that, that underhook too. Yeah, right? so I would like to say simple sometimes, you know, you might react differently. So throw, boom, pivot up this foot underneath to here. This is a good uh, practice too. So when they lock up, what are some of the components they're thinking about as they lock up? Over here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I'm thinking about how, uh, how, how safe I'm going to be, right? So now here, I don't want your hand necessarily going back, so I can use this control you're able to keep pulling to me, right? Mm -hmm. This here is not going to hurt me at all. Maybe like headbutts, so I got, I'm going to be kind of like yeah, here. Yeah, there I can't. You can shit you know, in my head. I could headbutt you, you, you know. So I'll probably like get my head in here. Right? And if I can, I'll start going in here. And hips close. And you're also your torso, you're not bent over, you're no. you're up, your posture is up, right? If I'm here, if you know like if you know takedowns, very much harder for you to count on me. The moment that I start bring my head back now, you you're free to move. Mm -hmm. Now you can get the upper hand. I don't like it. No, so I like hips close. Hips close. You're vertical. You're you're controlling my head with your yeah. head so that I can't start bashing on you. Yeah. And then you guys got to learn how to take them down from there. But at least they've weathered that punch. Yeah, you know, and it's take down. Is that, you know, it's, it, it could be as simple as starting to, you know, control here, bringing the elbows in, and use a natural motion of. Using your head to bend the, mm -hmm. the body, you know, the arms going to be wrapped Just around the lower back. Lay them right down. Suck, you know, sucking them in here and boom. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Except you do it a lot harder on the yeah. bar floor. Yeah, it'll be hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just go go through that flow a little bit. So you throw, boom, step. Go around, control, right, break it down. I like to go to the side. No, Mr. Gracie. No, <laughs> Mr. Gracie. <laughs> Katie, get the guns. No, but I think the, the point is, is that's not complicated. I mean, you just got to be trained. It's not. You know, but it's also one of the things that I do sometimes. Demos. Uh, self-defense seminars, law enforcement seminars, you know. But to me, the best self-defense is to train on a daily basis, right? Yeah. Like when people are like, oh, I did this weekend course. And when you get to do it again. Mm -hmm. Right? You yeah, get, to get proficient at that where you can link those movements together. Exactly. You got to drill that. You have to feel it, right? Because yeah. I might get to the position on you. You might react, react one way. Yeah. Drew another. Yeah. Right, so people, people might freak out about some things. Others might expose different body types. So it's important to constantly do it, constantly. So close, catch that arm, good shield, get the underhook, hips tight, chest up, head up, and simply as break them down. You know, it's almost like you, as you, uh -huh. you know, you squat. You know, you squat as you. Go to sleep. 
Yeah. Go to sleep. Cool. You, know, uh, you can't let it right there. Cool. Kanan, you want to try it? So I throw slow. Right? Yep. So I throw. You're going to. Not, not bad, but make sure you s step in. Okay. Boom. Nice. There you go. This is great. Okay. The only thing uh, I would say from this, mm -hmm. you might need to take me down a little sooner. You might not. You might not have a good time to, because here now my hands are free, right? I could start yeah. throwing so stuff here. So if you have this control, see what I mean? Now exactly. Yeah. While while I'm trying to free this hand to punch, or maybe I'm getting off balance, and you can use this time to go cool. to get me down. If let's go again. You throw, boom, and you choose this motion, this grip and I decide to throw, I'll probably almost like do like a little shrug here and go towards my back. Okay. Uh, that way? Like, no, you slide around and you go towards the back here. Okay. So now, so if I were here on you, right? Mm -hmm. I had this, but I chose this and decide to throw first. I'll get out of the way. Mm -hmm. I go a little bit of, uh, one more time. So I throw, you get in, that's, yeah, you choose this one, I go to punch, boom. Beautiful. You know, so that's why it's, it's important to practice every day. Not necessarily every day, but to practice on a day, on a more, more often than a weekend seminar because those, because of those variations, right? But if it's something that you're using to save your life, you probably should do it every day. Man, 100%. I feel that we have when you grow, at least when you're a grown up, right? You have your car insurance, you have your house insurance, you have life insurance, you have health insurance. This is insurance too, mm -hmm. right? Hopefully you'll never get to use those. We don't want to use any of our insurance policies, right but on. if we need, they're there. I dig it. Yeah. Hey, I hope you guys dug this little quick video on weathering a haymaker from Mr. Hollis Gracie. Hollis Gracie Academy in New Jersey. How do they find you on uh, social media? Uh, Hollis Gracie on Instagram, Twitter. R O L L, R -O -L, -L E S Gracie, G R A C I E. And uh, yeah, and uh, R O L L E S Gracie, G R A C I E Academy.com. Hope you guys dug this quick video. Tune in for more. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Tell Drew thank you in the comments because he works harder than all of us at that editing and filming. Don't be dickheads. And if you this guy, do have a big stick. Let's try. <laughs> I would probably go about this far back and as soon as you came in to block it, I'd tell Kanan, no! <laughs>